thing is a difficult word to um, uh, to boom because it's a closed ing. It's it's closed. Um, flare is easy. Rick, flare. You know, your mouth opens and she just comes out. But you can lose the sound when you say, especially I'm old time. I mean, I'm old school. So I even, I, I, I boomed, and I still do when I go out guest ring announcing. I boom when I announce. And um, so, therefore, I needed a running start to get to the word sting. So then I just thought, well, what can I say before sting? And um, that I just created, this is, this is sting. <laughs> I I it was become... out of it was it was out of fear. I was just afraid <laughs> that if I just said sting, nothing would come out. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like it's so synonymous with you. Like you know, they they play uh, like an old video of Sting or something, and you hear you know this is Sting. I feel like that's so synonymous, and people remember that voice being attached to Sting. Is that cool? You know, to, to think back and look back, like people, you know, attach you with that wrestler. Yeah, it is. Um, it is, and and. That applied to a few of the others, um, and one um, when you tune into um, let's just say a weekly show that you that you like a lot it doesn't have to be wrestling it could be anything. There's certain things about the show that make you feel comfortable. There's certain things that are repetitive. Look at look at the late night talk shows. They have the same theme song every night. The guy comes out in the same way. He he addresses the audience. He thanks the audience in the same way, and then he's off on his monologue. But everything up to that is the same. And there's a comfort in that, in repetition, repetition, repetition. So and I always knew that. So so when I created um, when it what whenever it was that I created an introduction that was a little different, a little bit offbeat. Or the following contest, not is set for, but the following contest, it is set for, <laughs> which is probably grammatically horrible, <laughs> but yeah. it's it's a little trademark. The Carnation Boutonniere, it's a trademark. When I first started, ring announcers didn't wear bow ties. So when I started, when I started very few people in entertainment used their middle name or three names, Gary Michael Capetta. Um so they were like little subtle things that set you apart, and then also these very comfortable repetitions that people came to expect and identify with you. And, um, yeah, so that that's really the theory behind it. But Sting was I just needed a, a, you know, a running jump into Sting. 